Hey, what's going on everybody? I want to show you how to install Ableton Live packs and presets that you may download from me or somewhere else on the internet. Right now I've got my downloads folder open in my places. I highly recommend maybe putting your download folder in your places. You just click add folder and you can choose any folder you like. On my system I chose downloads, added it, and now it shows up here all the time. So I've got my Krumar synth. This is a free Ableton Live pack I put out a couple weeks ago and this is what you get when you download it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this Ableton Live set. We can open that up, and here it is. You get two presets when you open this up. Now, for this kind of situation where there's just two presets inside an Ableton Live session, the easiest thing to do is to just click on the Save icon right here on the device itself. So I'm going to click on that, and now Live has opened up my user library and decided it's going to put it under Instrument Racks because that's what it is. I click and then I have my instrument rack saved right here. So now I can go inside instruments of my browser and I go on instrument racks and there it is beneath all of these categories. We'll get to the categories in just a second. So now let's go back to my downloads and see what else I have. Another thing I have is my new 80s VHS synth project. Now this is a premium pack with some VHS synths that were all sampled to VCR tapes. And when you open this up, you get a little live project, which you could very well click on and open. It's got all the presets there. I'll open it now. Click on save. Okay, and here's the project, and it's got all of these different tracks, and each one has a preset on it. Now, you could very well go about the same way we did with the last one by clicking the save icon, but that's going to take a long time. So what I've done in this situation is I have a presets folder. And all of these presets are right here. So this download comes with a preset folder all right there. What I'm going to do with this particular item is I'm going to add this to my places here. All right? So I'm going to click Add Folder. I'm going to search for this in my downloads. Here it is, my VHS synths. I'm going to click Open. And now I can just go right here and I can go right inside my presets folder and I can take say my stringed horns here drag it on this track and there we have it very cool so it's easy access right here something I would just make sure is that you don't separate the samples from this particular folder if you're gonna move the folder on your system you're gonna lose this connection you're gonna have to add the folder again depending on where you have live is not gonna know where you put the folder so just be careful if you move these any of these folders in your places, you do have to reconnect them later on. So now let's go back to our downloads here. And I'm going to show you a, an Ableton Live pack created by my friend Subaqueous, Isaac Kotek. We're just going to double click on these. Now an Ableton Live pack file, an ALP, well, it's a compression format that Ableton's created that will reduce your file sizes. It's kind of like creating a zip file, but it's an Ableton Live pack and it actually is optimized for Ableton Live projects and will compress your file greater than a zip file. So Isaac Subaqueous has made this toy piano so I'm just going to double click it. So Live says it's preparing for installation and it brings up a dialog box asking me where I'd like to save this particular project once it gets unpacked and I can pick anywhere on my drive. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it in the downloads folder, but you might want to put this wherever you save your Ableton Live projects. And I'll just click open. And now what it's doing is it's unpacking this live project. And you'll see right here, we've got our toy piano project. We open this up, and it's another Ableton Live project. So what we can do is just double click on this. Click don't save. And this is the file that comes up. So. We've got our little toy piano here. Sounds pretty cool. And I'm just going to click on the little save icon in this case. Since it's one preset, it's nice and easy to save. So I'll just click save. And it shows up right here in my instrument racks. And there it is. Now, something you might notice is I've got all these different categories of instruments right here. If you look under sounds, we get ambient and evolving bass, all of these different categories of instruments that, and sounds we can put into our projects. Now if you go into your user library, like we did here, and you create these same folders, 
And you can do that nice and easy by just right clicking and say new folder and name it something that is in these sounds here. Percussive, for instance, go into our user library, and we have percussive. We can put our sounds right in there. Got another subaqueous pack right there. So I had this Krumar synth from the beginning of this video that I'm going to call like a synth lead. And I'm just going to drag it and drop it right in my synth lead folder. Now it's right there. And now when I go under sounds and synth leads, and I scroll down a little bit, I'll see this show up right here within my sounds, which is a very nice way to keep things organized. This will put anything, any instrument that is in that folder. So in your user library, you might have a whole bunch of different instruments. You might have like uh, presets for analog, like a bass here. I got 1980 synth bass under analog. If I go under sounds, under bass, I should be able to find 1980 synth bass. It'll categorize it that way. Let's go back to our downloads folder and close this guy up. And the last thing I want to show you are Ableton Live Packs from Ableton themselves. Now the cool thing about the Ableton Live Packs from Ableton is that they will automatically install into your packs in here. We can't do that unless we're actually Ableton. That's a functionality they reserve for official releases. So I'm just going to double click on this and automatically it starts installing. It doesn't ask. This is Time and Timbre by Skinnerbox, which I highly recommend. I love this setup. And it gives me my little lesson once it gets installed. And then under Packs, I've got my Time and Timbre by Skinnerbox. And I can go through, check out my drum kits, the audio effects, the instruments, and all that stuff are right here. That's for official packs from Ableton.com. So that's how you install things into your library in Ableton Live. There's a lot of ways you can do it. You can simply click on the save icon. If your folder has preset files, something you can do is just add it to your, your places. And then you've got your 80s VHS synths right here, ready to go. You can also, from there, save these into certain folders within your instruments and your user library. And you can just copy the same folder structure from right here. So I hope that helps out. Thanks a lot, and have fun making music. Cheers.